Hey Star Wars fans, I'm Pablo Hidalgo and I'm here at Big Rock Ranch today because we got word that we could finally talk about the new animated Star Wars series that's in development here. So I'm going to track down our good friend Dave Filoni and ask him all about it. So come on, let's go. Dave, you ready? <laughs> I brought the Always. internet. I brought the internet with me. How'd you do that? Oh, uh, it's just over here. <laughs> it's like a, a mobile probe droid. Yes. Where are we right now? Like, where are we right now? What happens, like, where are we with Rebels? Oh, it's, it's amazing. So many things have happened. The, our characters have been on so many incredible journeys. If only you could see it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to tell me where we no, are? No, you're not going to get to see it either. <laughs> He's play acting. He knows quite a bit. It's very nice. He's trying to be your friend, but I'm trying he to knows get information more. for you guys here. So this is a whole new era to get into in between episodes three and four. Yes, the opportunity to work in the era that I grew up with, you know, even though it precedes that era, uh, it pre this show will precede episode four, it, it's still tremendously exciting because this visual language is now open to us and very directly what Ralph McQuarrie was doing is now open to us in a way that we could never exploit on Clone Wars. You look at Ralph's design and it's a few degrees off of where it was in episode four because it's concept art. That's right. When you use it in, Star in Rebels, <laughs> It's going to be a few degrees off of episode four because that's where we are in the timeline. Yeah. We said, what if this was CG? What if these paintings you just pop them off and suddenly get in dimension and the same type of camera work that you see in the original films? Uh, that would be a very inspired animated series. So let's talk about some of the folks who are joining you on mm -hmm. Star Wars Rebels that you had worked with already. Killian Plunkett, who was my uh, design lead on... Uh, uh, Clone Wars is on this new show, which is really exciting for me because I mean he knows Star Wars inside out. He nitpicks every little detail. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you looking at? This is brand new. Nothing. Never mind. What are you no, looking? That's no, fine. What's it's wrong fine. with it? Nothing. It's fine. Are you counting the spans? No, I was counting the number of window panes. Yes. Oh, well, I made that up. Also, Joel Aaron, another key component of uh, Clone Wars. You know, my wizard, if you will. I want to go as far as uh, really trying to get the the essence and color palette out that you see in all of the Ralph McQuarrie prints and then that feeling, that journalistic feeling that you get with the lighting, mm -hmm. with the color tones in A New Hope. Also working on the show, Greg Weissman, a name that's known very well from animation fans. That's right. Well, Gargoyle, Greg, uh, oh, Gargoyle. you know, back in the day for Disney television, it was one of the first real action adventure shows uh, that, that I had seen them do. I'm really excited that Simon Kinberg is involved in the show. It's pretty exciting. I know. I mean, I have to say. We've heard his name attached to Star Wars projects. Now he's consulting on episode seven. He's working on his own standalone film. That's right. Big movie guy working on Big the show. I know. Every time we sit down, I get so excited about just what we're talking about. We haven't even really gotten to it yet in a lot of ways, but you know, just sending him images and then him getting inspired off an image that we sent. and. Uh, you know, I think the fans are going to see the payoff when this show airs. 